Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. First, I want to say congratulations to all the students who have posted their comments in the previous video. Thank you so much. I give you a reward for that. So, for today's lesson, can you write down the day and also the date into your maths 2 book? Right, uh, for today's lesson, uh, we're going to learn about art length. So our learning objectives for today, we're going to use the formula of art length of a circle to determine the art length angle and the radius of a circle. So this is like um, the diagram for it. So you have the center O and you got radius there which is labeled R and this line is also radius. Uh, this length, this, the outer part of it, the red color is called the art length. So the formula for the art length is very simple. You take the angle inside, which is x, you divide by 360, and you times with 2 pi r. So this is uh, the x, the angle inside, divide by 360 times 2 pi r. Now look at the first example. We're going to discuss some some examples for this uh, subtopic. Right, the first example, you want to find the length of the arc that subtends an angle of an angle of x equals to 60 degrees of a circle with radius 28 cm and using pi equals to 22 over 7. So first you're going to write down the formula. You're going to have arc length equals to x over 360. And then substitute all the values. Your x will be 60 degrees over 360 and times 2 times pi and times r which is 28 cm. Just use calculator. And you can use your calculator. You get the final answer which is 29 1 over 3 cm. Or you can change to mix number which is 88 over 3 cm. So Don't give in decimal. Okay, second example. If uh, you want to find... Um, what is the question is now? Okay, you want to find the angle of x using pi equals to 22 over 7 again. Right, look at this diagram. You got uh, radius equals to 28 cm. Um, the arc length is equals to 44 cm. So just use the same formula. Substitute the value of arc length, which is 44 cm, into your formula. Uh, the x is not uh, it's not known. So substitute. It's the not given. Again. Okay, use your calculator. Two over two. Uh, 2 times 22 times 28 over 36 over 7, 360 over 7, you will get 22 over 45. Now you can change um, that uh, into like this, uh, change the position. And then you're going to cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, 44 times 45 over 22. And then you get 90 as the final answer. 90 degrees. Now this is example number 3. In this example, you need to find the radius, the value of your radius, using pi equals to 22 over 7. So look at your diagram here. You got arc length equals to 11 cm. The angle inside is 63 degrees. Just sub uh, first you sub substitute the values. So arc length will be 11 equals to 63 over 360 times 2 times pi times r. Uh, use your calculator, 63 over 360 times 2 times 30 over 7 will give you 11 over 10. Now you can swap the position, but don't uh, change the sign, just swap the position. You got 11R over 10 equals to 11. Now you cross multiply, so when you cross multiply, you will get 11 times 10 over 11. Cancel the 11, so you got R equals to 10 cm. Right, uh, this is the last example. So now, uh, can you copy all the questions into your maths to book? Also the notes. I'm giving you some questions. I don't think if you four questions, so you have to find the angle x. Uh, for this question, you have to follow the second example. Uh, this, is the, this is the question, so you got A and B there. And for the second question, uh, can you follow example number three? So this is your second question. Uh, you need to find the radius, just follow my instruction. And all the best to you. Uh, you can look at my solution after this. So all the best. Please take care. And Please I'll comment in section below. Goodbye. Comment in section below. Bye.